tablet peeps all over the world. And when I say all over the world, I mean all over the world. Every time I look at these little comments, I see Indonesia, I see Russia, I see Italy, I see Germany, I see America, I see the world. The world is coming to me, and I am coming to you. So, if you're new, welcome. Hit that button. Why not subscribe to the mama? You won't regret it. Read the comments below. Come on, my generous, my, all my peeps out there. Tell them new folks. Y'all enjoy my channel, don't you? Well, I know I enjoy reading you enjoying me. Because <laughs> you enjoy me like I enjoy you. So it's a beautiful, beautiful rainy morning. I just say, hey, beautiful at all. It's Bloody awful outside today. If you lived in the Sahara, <laughs> it would want, be great. <laughs> you'd want this rain. You know what I mean? There are places in the world that cry out for rain. Yeah. Britain we, isn't one of them. <laughs> we ain't one of them. Trust me. Trust me. I pray for the sun, but sometimes I got to deal with the rain. Now, y'all know me. Well, this one don't say. <laughs> <laughs> but most of my ignorance say <laughs> That's like, what are you doing? You're looking for the, the bit that's not there. Yeah, don't bend it, <laughs> spin it. Okay, I... Explain what that means. What it means is bins. don't throw things away when you can use it in another way. And that's what I'm talking about. Upcycling, recycling, using what you have. Now, I come up with a recipe, and I swear to God it's the truth, based on one ingredient. And that's usually the ingredient that's hitting its sell by day. <laughs> and I say to myself, how can I use this? So, look at the table. Let's have a little look. And you will see there's something that's looking a little bit Yeah, it looks a little bit tired. Sad. That pineapple. Look seemed, at that pineapple. It's seen better days. Child, it didn't grow out of the groom. <laughs> <laughs> Is but, it going to be okay? Oh, it, well, we're going to cut it and see. <laughs> it's okay. And I thought... You know, I was what feels fun. firm. Mm -hmm. Okay, got a little bit of mold growing on the top, but hey, that's antibiotics. <laughs> you know what I mean? Penicillin. So I, penicillin. <laughs> and I thought, how about let's try a cake? Mm -hmm. So, what we're going to do first thing first, we got to check this pineapple because obviously, if the pineapple ain't no good, I gotta change the recipe. Exactly, make something else. But you know what? I got enough things coming towards their end of the day that I can do that. Okay. But here we go. All so, right. first thing first, we're gonna just chop off this top part. Oh, oh yes! Yeah, that's fine. Oh yes! That is the I only keep, bit. Keep, keep still so I can see. That's okay. the only bit. Yeah, that is the only the bit. The rest of this pineapple. Oh, smell. It smells so sweet. It's you can sweet. actually smell how sweet it, it is, is, if that makes sense. so sweet. Lovely jubbly. So, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut off the bottom. Okay? So you can see here, yes. there's a little bit. Yeah, if you look but that's there, okay. So that's only so that I can lay it flat. Mm -hmm. Now we're just going to cut it down the sides. Okay, let's just trim it. Because I'm telling you now, there's enough goodness in this pineapple to make a cake. What kind of, you're not going to do an upside down cake, are you? Well, what I decided, I, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to do, oh, I'm starting to sweat already. Y'all know me, I'll be getting hot. Oh, I should bring my Whistlecock fans down. <laughs> you know, my double fans. Yes. Um... I've decided what I want to do is a layered, double layers of pineapple upside down cake. Oh, okay. So it's going to be the pineapple upside down cake, but I'll layer it together. Okay. So it's a slight twist on a pineapple Got upside it. down cake. Okay, okay, cool, cool. So let's just move these to the front here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then let's cut off. Let's just cut off that little bit there. Okay, so while you're cutting this pineapple, I've got a few things that I need to say. Yeah, while I'm cutting the pineapple, um, Katrina, speak to us. So, I would like to say welcome to our new patrons. Um, we've had some new patrons join during May, in the beginning of June, and I just want to say hello. So, Anne Williams, 
thank you, and Rachel Carver, Maynor Roja, Nino, thank you so much for joining us. Also, Ross Logan from Australia, he joined, and we've already done our first Skype session with him. Which hey, was Ross. really fun. Say hi to Ross, Mum. How you doing, Ross? That was really fun. So we're now working out what lesson, what, what meal we're going to cook with him next. And also, an existing I think patron. He, didn't he say he wanted to do a sweet potato pie? He did say a sweet potato pie, so we need to get that in the diary. And an existing patron from Russia called Gleb Nosov, he's increased his pledge, which means he gets to have Skype sessions with you too. So Gleb, keep an eye on your inbox, because I'm going to be emailing you so we can work out a date to do our Skype session. Right, that's me, that's me done. Is that all the that's patrons? That's it, that's me saying thank you to one of our patrons. Alright, so thank you to all the new ones, and all of our pre-existing patrons thanks for sticking with us um believe me it makes a difference it makes a huge difference makes a huge difference okay so you're cubing pineapple i'm just cubing this pineapple to start okay oh that looks so good i'm not going to put this bit here that's the heart is that the, the hard bit in the middle yeah maybe not too stringy okay it's that bit this yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. But these bits here, you can see it just goes yeah. straight through. Cool. Let's put that here. Whoops, Oops. drop one. No, Stella, you can't have that. Oh, let me get that. Is pineapple not good for dogs? I don't know. I'm not taking the risk. Is that me? It, it could be, but I because I don't know, I'm not going to risk it. Okay, so that's the first step. So what I want to do next, let me just get me some paper towels. My hands are all sticky now. Is I'm going to make my sauce. Okay, my candied sauce. So what we have here is we have some butter. Don't ask me how much. Yeah. About 125 grams. Okay. Put that on to melt. To that, I'm going to add some brown sugar. So let's just throw that, that in. That's dark brown. Does it matter if it's light? It doesn't matter if it's light or dark brown. Just okay. brown sugar. Okay. I'm going to also add some vanilla. But I am going to also, to this candy sauce, I found this in the supermarket. And I thought it looked really cool. What is it? Salted caramel. Ooh. As a flavoring. Okay. So we're going to add some of that. Let's just melt this down. Let's get some salted caramel. Let me taste it. Well, no, these essence, I was about to say, they're always much stronger than... To, uh, well, wait, wait, let me taste it. No, we, no, we it's, might it's, not. it's the salty part in it. Hold on, I've got it. It's the salty part in it. Very salty. But I'm going to put a teeny bit in. Okay. I ain't going to put much in. All right. I ain't sure about that. No, me neither. I ain't sure about that. But, but then we'll when just... you taste vanilla, it never tastes nice. But no. when you cook it, it tastes amazing, so... Okay, so let's get this melted down. Okay. Look at that, that just looks naughty. Okay, but now it's missing some cinnamon. Here's our cinnamon. And then to that, straight away, I'm going to add some of our pineapple. Okay. All of them or just some? I'm going to just put half of this in. Okay. Okay. Now this is going to go between the two layers, remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I need quite a bit, actually, to put a little bit more in there. Mm -hmm. And then with this pineapple here, I'm going to cut it up just a little bit finer because I want pineapple. This is going to be a really pineapple pineapple cake. All right, we must remember not to let Ellis have any. Oh, well, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, she's allergic to um, pineapple. Yeah. Okay. Well, when she, well, she ain't, as long as she don't come here in the next two days, she won't have none. <laughs> so, Mum, how has your weekend been? Oh, my goodness. This weekend was off the chart. I'll tell you why. You know I'm doing these Airbnb experiences. And I don't mean no, they don't come and spend the night. They come and cook, learn to cook soul food, and eat at my table. Yep. And this weekend we had two. It was such it nice. It was really so great. Nice, wasn't it? And when I say the world, the first couple came from Abu Dhabi. They did. Oh yeah. They came all the way over from Abu Dhabi. To see Elton John and the Mama. <laughs> yep. And that's it. They yep. took their take their tickets for two events. Yeah. Mama Cherry, I was first. And then after I fed them, they went on off to visit Elton. I hope the concert went well. It for was them. yesterday, Elton John. Yeah, I hope it went well. I walked past it and I was walking. Could the you dog. hear could you it hear it? Right, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So let's just get that there like that. Nice. 
let that cook down a little bit. And then the second couple, which came on Saturday night, see the afternoon ones that I do are booze free. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm responsible. If you come in to eat with me at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, do not expect alcohol because it ain't Although happening. Although we did do an ap ap apparel for them because yeah. they travel from Abu Dhabi. And it was like 5 in the evening. And it was quite late. Mm. But the early ones, no, 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 no. Because I'm thinking you might be driving to me. And I ain't putting nobody out there on the road with some alcohol in them. Get pulled over. Eeyo, eeyo, eeyo. <laughs> oh, officer, it's the mama's fault. She plied us with alcohol. No, I did not. <laughs> However, turn up to my house at night. Saturday night. Particularly. Saturday night. Sitting around the table. Katrina did the cocktail. Girl, what cocktails did you do? Tom? I made I made some special gin and tonics with like flavored gins and flavored tonics with fruit and mint and stuff. And then I did a tequila based one for Mum because Mum likes her tequila. I like tequila. So yeah, they were really tequila. tasty. And they were really tasty. And then Phil, he's because y'all know Phil, he loves his craft beers. So what he did is he went out and bought specialty beers, which we actually had little tasters of different types of beer with each course. So the first course was our, I'm going to just add these into here. The first course was the um, uh, catfish goujons and then our second course was jambalaya and Phil found beers to go with all of them. Yeah, it actually worked really well. So it was really it was good. really nice. So. Okay, you can see this. What I'm going to do here, because the cake part's going to be quick. I need to get this bit right. Mm -hmm. I just need to cut this down a bit because some of them are too big. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, they're going soft. Smells amazing. Mmm, yes. So, that's that one. And then this one, same thing. There we go. If people want to do them like in circles, if they oh, want yeah. to get tin ones. You can just ones get the or... tin ones. This one, I, I usually do it from a tin, mm -hmm. but I had a fresh pineapple and I needed to use it. Yeah. So I am using it. Yeah. Okay, so that's that first part. Mm -hmm. The cake part is simple. I'm just going to throw it together as I do. I got a dentist appointment. Anytime yet. Okay. I got another half an hour so I can do this yeah. cake. Well, then it's trying to call Oh so. my god, I gotta depend on Katrina to take it out. Yeah, Katrina, you better not let my cake burn. Oh crap. Okay, set an alarm. I'm gonna have to because set an alarm. you know. Oh lordy. Here we go. So, let's get this cake. Now, when it comes to measuring ingredients, I know I'm pretty bad at it because I just have a feel for it. So I just do it. But I know there's a lot of you out there who aren't really sure about your measurements, here's a little tip for you, okay? It usually works pretty well with cakes. Get yourself a measuring thing, okay? Turn it on. Hush, Stella. Oh, hold on, I need to go and find out what spooked the dog. I ain't, you ain't got to go nowhere. Oh, and I'll shut fine. the door because I don't want to hear her barking. And then she's going to bark even more. Oh, okay. So... I know that I want to put four eggs in this cake because I want it to be a quite rich cake. Eggs come in different sizes. So what you do is, in the same bowl, weigh your eggs. So they're coming in at around 351. Okay. You want to have your flour to be almost equal to your eggs. Oh, okay. So that's just 376. So it's just a little bit over. Okay. As well as your sugar. It's what be the same as the eggs? Pretty much. Oh. So if you weigh your eggs and weigh your sugar and weigh your flour, as long as they're around that same amount, you're on it. Your okay. ingredients will be good. Because obviously if you're making a huge cake and you've got a lot more flour, then weigh your flour and think, how many eggs do I need to go with that? Mm -hmm. And then weigh your eggs. Okay. All right? I'll be weighing nothing myself, though. Yeah. But I'm just telling you, that's a hint for you folk who say, I don't know what to do. Well, well like me. Yes. <laughs> So, first thing first, we're going to take our butter. Okay, let's weigh the butter and give you an idea. Not quite. Butter's around three, but that's enough. Mm -hmm. Throw my butter in. Throw my sugar in. Get my mixer. Three of them together. Cream it just so it's quite light. 
Whoa. And now for the eggs. And remember, I always crack one egg at a time mm -hmm. into a separate bowl. Just in case. We don't want to... That one's good. Throw it in. You don't want to ruin the batter. Don't want to ruin the batter. Just in case something's off with your eggs. Let's go two. Good and good. And. Let's go three. How did you... So four eggs, is it the eggs that make it light and fluffy? It makes it, it helps rich. It rise. Yeah, it okay. helps it rise. Right. Okay. And with all this pineapple, I just wanted it to be quite rich. Yeah, okay. Alright, so... Four eggs, with them in. Okay, also, talking about this weekend, so I did a marathon church event yesterday. <laughs> yes, I did. It was Sunday. I went to my church because I felt the calling. I needed to go and pray. Which you did. And then, some friends of mine, hold up. Oh yeah, looking good. Look at that. That's what you want. Really like. So, some friends of mine um, from South Africa, they are setting up their own new church. And it just happened to be round right around the corner from my church. So, I went to my church at 10 o'clock, sat through the, did the praise, then the sermon started. And I, was, I really hated to walk out on Jackie because I love to hear her speak. Um, but at 10 to 11, I had to leave because I had to be at the other church by 11 o'clock. So I left at 10 to 11. I did get my offering before. And then I left and then I went to this new church and it was lovely. It was really sweet. Now, straight to this. We're going to add with my vanilla. Here right it is. In front of you. I'm going to add some vanilla. Just a bit. I am not adding none of that salted yeah, caramel because I am not sure about that. Going to add a teeny bit of mixed spice. Mixed spice is that one with nutmeg and... Nutmeg and everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And some cinnamon. And then we're going to slowly start to add our flour. So just do a little bit of flour at a time. flour in. Now if it's too dry, as yeah, which this is, a dry, isn't it? it's a little bit dry, you can either add some a, a touch of milk, just a little bit of milk to keep it going, but I thought I am going to add, I have some uh, Greek style yogurt. Yeah, you can add yogurt. Really? You can add sour cream or yogurt. And I'm going to add some of this yogurt here. Now, this one is a coconut yogurt, oh. and I'm going to add this because Phil don't like it, and he ain't eating it, and I'm not eating it, although I love it. I ain't having to go to waste. Okay. So, I thought, let's put a little bit of yogurt in this cake. It's going to make it nice. Oh, really? Interested to see how that... Oh, it's going to be lovely. Turns out. And that's going to give it enough look at that. That's yeah. all it needs. And then, a touch, even though this is self-raising, um... Flour, I'm going to put some baking powder in. Whip it up. As I go, whip. Oh, whip. Whip. Oh, whip. I can whip it. I can whip it. Hey, Mom. Oh, whip. Maybe I'll make on a Monday morning. Maybe I'll make month. a new single called The Whip It. <laughs> I think Will Smith's daughter did I'll whip that. my hair back and forth with her. Ow! <laughs> okay. Oh, that's nice and light. So you can see how light it is. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Those out. Let's 
Tack it up. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I am going to add these chunks of cut up pineapple. Oh, this is going to be a pineapple lishy. Yeah. Pineapple cake. what? Pineapple lishy. Pineapple lishy. Pineapple lishy cake. Pineapple lishy. Okay. It's my pineapple lishy cake. And oh, let's go. Oh, here we go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So let's just fold that in. Oh man, I just got a, I just had a smell and it literally just took me back to Nana's house. I don't yeah. know why. Yeah, you know, they used to she used to like her pineapple upside down. Yeah, okay. just all of a sudden that's so, you know when the smell takes you somewhere. Yep. Yeah. So here we go. This one could use a little bit more of that juice. Mmm. So here we go. So let's just Put this on top. Oh, this cake's gonna be good. You know, sometimes you just feel it. <laughs> I feel it in my fingers. I knew that was coming. I feel it in my bowl. <laughs> yeah. Cause cake is all around me. <laughs> And that's the way mama flows. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ow! Wow. Okay. Look, I ain't done a song in a while. Mom, you do a song every episode. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I do yes, not. You do. I can try to say you made me drop my bow. <laughs> I do not. Come on, peeps. Back me up here. It's been a while. It's been since Christmas. Oh, please. I ain't sang since Christmas. Uh, everywhere I go. I cook oh. everywhere. That was last week. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. Well, I remember we showed those to the German girls. They yeah. got it. They started singing with the mama. Okay, so this now is going to go into a, a hot oven, which I have had preheating. Yes, preheated. Let's move this back. It's going to probably go in for about a half an hour, only because it is single layers. Okay. Put it on the top shelf, put it in, sit back, have a cup of tea, and chat to your neighbors, to your family. Just don't sit at home by yourself, and if you ain't got nobody to talk to, drop me a comment. I'll talk back to you. I promise I will. All right, so we're going to come back to you when this cake, when you can smell it through the house, and it's coming out up your nostrils. Okay. That's when it's ready. Okay. Okay? okay. Golden brown on top, bit like me, golden <laughs> brown. All right, see you in a minute. Welcome back. Look at here, look at here. Our cakes have come out of the oven. Now, I had to shoot off to the dentist. Teeth look good, doing well. And I had to leave Katrina to take the cakes out of the oven. Now, I said to her, take them out after 10 minutes, but make sure they're cooked. I ring her from the dentist. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. I said, Katrina, are the cakes? Yeah, they're out, Mama. Took them out. I said, but did you check they were cooked? No. I said, well, you got to check. So you see that little hole there? I said, stick a knife in. If it comes out super wet, then I cook. She went, oh, it's wet. I said, put it back. So she put it back in. How long did you let it cook for? Another, what, 10 minutes? Five minutes. About five minutes, because I, I knew it was close. So here we go. Let's try this. Now remember, what I'm trying to go for is a double layered pineapple upside down cake. So let's see here. Put your bowl or your plate on. Turn it upside down. Is it turning out? I hope so. Feels like it. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yes, it did. And that's going to be the middle. That's going to be the middle part. Cool. Now, if I had some cream. How have you not got any crab? Have you sure you haven't got... What about that yogurt, that coconut yogurt? No, that won't work. Okay, I don't know. See, this is why you bake and I don't. No, yogurt in the middle ain't going to work. Let me see if I got any cream. See, what I'd need would be 
Now I got some single cream, but that's not enough. I was thinking like some whipped cream. It's all right. We're going to put these layers together and come back. Now this one is to go on top of this. Now can I do it? Or should I put it on a plate and slide it? Put it on a, I put I it on a plate it, and slide I think I'm it. Otherwise, because the whole thing might yeah, fall apart. Yeah, the whole thing apart. could fall apart, and then that would be. So let's just see here. So this is this one. Just give it a little shake. Okay, very good. It's just that little tiny. And you just put that back in. Oh yes, put those on. Now, doing it this way, you can do it. You can do it two ways. You can either have two separate cakes, freeze one, and just be stingy with it. No, we're not doing that. But we're not doing that. We're not doing that. What we're doing is that's not how we roll. Oh shoot. How, okay, good luck with that. No, it's going. It's like this. Oh, of course it is, because it's an upside down cake. It's not pineapple and pineapple together. No, it's look at that. So that's look a at bit that. Naughty. Done that. Look pretty special. Mm. Mm. Hold it up, Mum. Mm. You're too busy licking your fingers. Mm. Oh. oh, it's good. So, look at here, look at here. Oh, that looks good, Mama. It's my double pineapple upside down layer cake. But it's got pineapples in it. Your normal upside down. With pineapple cake. all the way through. So, if you like pineapple, and you got some pineapple you need to get rid of. <laughs> That's the recipe. All right, so I'm happy with that. Good. You're gonna cut it um, and taste it, or no? No, we're gonna eat that later. All right. Well, then we could. I can film us cutting it and tasting it later. We can do that later. So, but we're gonna do this. What? If we're gonna taste it later, I'll film that later, and you can well, sign off then. We ain't gonna be filming nothing later what? with this cake, cause I'm not when cutting I... this cake no time what? soon. Why not? You gotta cut it before I leave. Oh, so and you if you are... cut it before I leave, then I can film it. Don't think you're gonna get away with not cutting that while I'm here. Nice try, Mum. All right. So I guess I'll I see. I see what you did there, but you didn't get away with it. You're right. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if that's the case, then I might as well cut yes, it right now. Cut it now, and then you can sign off. Okay. So Either way, see. I'm tasting the cake. <laughs> Oh, it looks good. Let's see this. It looks brilliant. Oh, here we go. And this with some whipped cream or some ice cream. Oh. Let's see here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Mmm. So. Okay, you can have first taste. Mmm. And it's light. Okay, let's see. She ain't gonna like I it. knew you were gonna say that, which means I'm gonna love it. No, don't even try. I don't even know why I cut it. No, 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 no. She ain't gonna like Take it. Take the camera, please. She ain't gonna like this. Take cake. the camera, please. Oh, it is Moorish. It is. Oh my god. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god. It is so. That is amazing. Oh my it's god. delicious, it's isn't really it? It's really good. It's so light. And it light. It's moist. All right, mm, Katrina. Mm. All right, girl. Give me my cake back. No. She gone. She gone. Good. I, I want another piece. <laughs> really good. Look how much she ate, y'all. Because y'all know I only had one little piece. It's really good. Look how much she uh, ate. You've got a whole cake, Mum. Like need you to get mine in before. Like, like you ain't going to get none of it. I'm totally going to attack that cake later. Mm. It's mm. delicious. Mm. That's delicious, Mum. It's really good. You can taste the butter. That's yeah, delicious. It's really good. Mmm. Oh, and a tiny bit of that coconut, just a hint, yeah, just a hint of from the that yogurt, yogurt as well. It's lovely. Very good. It is lovely. Guys, try that. Seriously, make it. You won't regret it. Y'all know how I roll. Go to bed. Dream. I dreamed of what I could do with my pineapple. Okay, now you can sign off. And this is what it was. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, once I start singing, she made me to sign, sign off. off now. All right. A little bit of peace. Whole lot of love. And la sal. From the pineapple woman. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Oh, that's good. <laughs>